right, action Jackson. Today is week five. What the heck? I just knew you were going to say it. Not much happened, like, activity-wise this week, but a whole lot happened anniversary-wise. So it's not actually even our wedding anniversary. It is our first date anniversary. And then uh, Ben got home from his mission five years ago. So it was five years ago we had our first date. And it was five years ago he got home from his mission. And here we are. So it's kind of fun. Ben served his mission in Philadelphia, <laughs> Pennsylvania. So Ben, his mission piloted Facebook. And so he was allowed on like five days out of the week yeah. online. And so his whole mission added me online because I was making like videos at the time. Who reached out to me because my cool glasses. Uh, who reached out to who Did first so is bad. still probably our biggest debate. <laughs> Look, it's how it all began. It was my birthday, 2012, and I was coming home in like eight months. I said happy birthday. She's like, happy birthday, and I'm like, oh wow, thanks. Which is a very like kept, nonchalant, cordial. And she kept writing me like, hey, where are you from? How long you been out? When you come home? Oh, when you come home, we should totally hang out. <laughs> to a point where we wrote each other so much that I asked him to make a video. And so he sent me a first video. We actually did several video exchanges while he was on his mission. Yeah, and it was like this. Good morning, Al Fox. Welcome to Honesdale, PA, way up north. Uh, just told you I'd make this video. Hope you have a great day. Hope you had a great weekend, too. And, uh, yeah, this video's for you. Told you I'd make it, so now it's your part of the deal. And uh, it was fun. But have a great day. All right, Al, see you later. Even up until this week, I felt like our video messages were very, like, kind of awkward. <laughs> Just stupid. Yeah, like, they are awkward. we That's didn't stupid. say anything to each other. We're like, hey, what's up? Like, how was your week? Well, see you later. Good morning, Elder. Hey. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Al. We just barely signed on to Facebook, and we're talking this exact second. I said, be right back. Welcome to MTV Cribs, baby. We're going to show you around the house. This is my desk. This is my closet. This used to be a workout bench. Elder Benjamin! <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, I like the color brown. Uh, fried chicken. <laughs> so I'm making this at like six something in the morning. Happy New Year! Come on, girl! Happy New Year! <laughs> yeah, it's just a little saying that we have here in uh, Alan Tap. You talked about the baptism. I talked about a chip tooth. I'm kind of weird. It's in this chair kind of awkwardly right now, but that's all right. Alan uh, Tolbert, speak. Oh boy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So that's you flying a kite. <clears throat> I'm overcoming this cold, so if I sound like a crazy cat, forgive me. I'm way sick. Like, this is my sick voice. I can't breathe through my nose. See you later, yo. See. Well, anyways, we ended up sending these video messages back and forth. Yeah. I still thought I was yeah. doing it because I was bored, but when I watched those videos this week, I'm like, I was oh, saying bored, some pretty baby. forward things to him. I think but you're so you, great. I like you. You were saying forward things too. I'm gonna go to work in the morning and I'm gonna sit on Facebook while I'm making my conference calls and anxiously await you getting on Facebook so I can talk to you because you make sitting at work so much better. <laughs> I, think, I think you're great and uh, you're awesome so let's keep it up. You're great. You're so great. I like you. You make me smile. But yeah, hope you can last four more months. Like, it's crazy we've already been talking for four months, so I guess four more. That's a piece of cake, so I hope so, because, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Happy Valentine's Day. And I got just the most beautiful picture ever. Ben, seriously, this was so cute. It was so sweet of you. Like, thank you so much. It just brightened my day. awkward but I wanted to let you know I'm thinking about you this like over-the-top excitement that I have 
that you live 20 minutes away from me. So one day you too will sit in this exact car. In a few weeks, you know, definitely got to get together now that we established I'm 20 minutes away. I don't know things, but I do know that... It's crazy to think I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> I honestly cannot believe that. Uh, but I look forward to it, for sure. See how it all unfolds. I'm just excited to finally see it spend some time with you, so. Because we've been doing this. I think it's so neat, kind of what we started. I'm gonna see you in your future life. Though. I am going to see you in a few days. So, Elder, I think you're so great. I'm so glad that we got to know each other. I'm grateful for your example and for your efforts and your testimony. I just think it was so neat that I got to see just a sliver of you and, and what you do. This isn't the end, this is the start of something great, not just with our videos, but also us. And so he gets off his mission and he uh, called me as soon as he was released as an elder that same night he gets home. Yeah, I do. We hang out like a day later. I didn't know it was a date. I didn't know it was a date. I thought uh, we were just sure. meeting in person. She was flirting so bad when I got home. I mean, the first <laughs> the first night we, I called you, you were on your way home from the temple, and then that night you said, Good night, handsome. See you this weekend. That's what you said. So because I didn't know it was a date, where did I decide to take him the first time we meet in person? To the Tempo. I totally took him to the Salt Lake Temple. You kept doing this while we were sitting together, like. <clears throat> <coughs> That's what you would do. <clears throat> you totally did the yawn. Yeah, did the we yawn. were in the celestial yeah. room, our first time hanging out, and he did the yawn. It was smooth too. It wasn't smooth. You were like. I didn't mm -hmm. mind it though, cause you were cute. And then I never, ever, ever, ever kiss on the first date, ever. <coughs> But you know when someone's about to kiss you, right? You guys are like making the eye contact. <laughs> and sometimes you'll glance down at their lips. So we're about this far away. You did not do that. <laughs> we're about this far away. And so I'm like, well, I like him enough to not leave him hanging. He went the 90, I'll go the 10. And so even though Cold I told him. was playing in the background. It was. <laughs> even though I was adamant about not kissing on the first date. He came the 90 and I liked him and so I didn't want to embarrass him so I went to kiss him back and do you know what he does? Oh. <laughs> I didn't have a hat on, but you know, a little Eskimo. Kiss. I pucker my lips. Yes, you did. And he gives me an Eskimo kiss so on damn. purpose. I am so embarrassed. You were embarrassed. He had like this cute little kid going. Like, I guess you were a little embarrassed, but you had a cute little kid I'm sitting but there that, with puckered lips and you didn't kiss uh, me. I went in for the kiss like right after. I just laughed. See, he did kiss me right after. That's just my personality. Anyways, the rest is history. This is the first video that I'm making where I've hung out with you in person. And I know you and stuff. And you were dating. I am just so in love with you. Not much else happened this week. It finally <laughs> snowed. Ben was so excited that he actually decided to vlog on his own. Well, a little documentary. You know, it's been kind of a lame winter. We haven't had too much snow. If we had had snow, it's like gone like two days later. But luckily, I don't know if it's luckily, I mean, I was enjoying that 50 degree, 60 degree weather for like a month straight. <laughs> What's up, Gracie?
shit. <laughs> what'd, you, Phil. what'd you pick up with? Billy! Go help us! Oh no, Phil, help us, Phil! Get her! Oh, I really thought I was gonna be. Phil, this is the. I don't think we need a make slide. Yeah. I think you use my entire body as a. You alright? That is still wrong. <laughs> alright, go to our patch of grass. I should have ran in the other direction. into the fence. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into this week's message. Do you want to start our music? Push the button. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe for new videos every Monday and comment below if you want to see more of this face in our videos of us talking. Time is moving at the quickest rate I've ever experienced, and we can't do anything to slow it down. We just need to keep moving forward with it in a meaningful way. So, we do the only things we know how to. We keep going. We keep trusting God. We see where the Spirit will lead us next. See what lessons we'll learn. The experiences we'll have. The people we'll meet. The states we'll live in. The talents we'll develop. And the trials we'll conquer. Try not to yell at God when things don't make sense and when they're so hard. Stay patient and faithful and allow life to unfold the way God would have it. Allow ourselves to be continuously prepared for and accepting of the unexpected, knowing that it is guided by the most powerful and all-knowing being to ever exist. He exists for you. He exists to help you succeed and to be truly happy. And if that is empowering, then I don't know what is. Embrace the unexpected, knowing whose hands you're in. Take adventure in knowing it's sometimes the hard and the unwanted that brings us to the best things in life. And isn't it thrilling to know most of our greatest days haven't even happened yet? Place your hand over your heart. Feel that? That's called purpose. You're alive for a reason. And we only get to do this mortal thing once, and I'd hate to waste it or take it for granted. Today, with God, you have the power to do anything. Today will never happen again. Make it count.